Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. Biohacker, super athlete, pro swimmer, Luke Patchman is in the house. Thanks for being with us today, Luke. Uh, thank you for having me. So, so you were training for the Olympics, right? Yes. And, and tell us a little bit about that, because we want to know how the hell you biohack through the Olympics. Well, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I've been swimming for about 23 years, and right now I've been taking a break, so um, I have a little bit more time to focus on some other things, but um, biohacking uh, athletics is kind of uh, intertwined, and I, I think biohacking is a bit of a trendy and fancy term, but uh, I tell people it's just figuring out how to optimize your biology, your body, your mind, your body, your spirit for um, our environment, and our environment's always changing. and. Uh, it's uh, much different than many of our ancestors had right. to deal with. So how do we do that? Let's go through some biohacking. We need okay. some serious biohacking around here. So the biggest, the biggest one I tell people is um, artificial light. That's uh, one of the has the largest impact on our health and has a lot of negative impacts on hormones, sleep, um, all sorts of things. So I wear um, blue light blocking glasses. I don't mm -hmm. know, I'm sure you've heard of those yeah, or seen those. Here. I actually I have a pair with me. These are. Uh, raw optics. These are their daytime ones. So it's R A optics. Uh -huh. um, oh, those are nice. Check them out. So, so that's that's what, what you would... really do because do I, do? I feel like this was an LA trend when everybody's like, I'm gonna wear my blue light glasses. Yeah. I have a pair of those. Yeah. Do you? They, they, yeah, they have yeah. a daytime and a nighttime. Oh, and really? these have look great. Like I, I can't tell you the specific type of lens that they have. Um, Dr. Jack Cruz is one of my favorite doctors that I follow. Um, he can tell you all about it. I can link to his Instagram. But hmm. this will be filtering out certain spectrums of light during the day. Uh, let's say you work on a computer or on a set, mm -hmm. or maybe you're driving or whatever. Or it needs some and it and it matches my outfit too. Uh, so you yeah. know, yeah. yeah. can say. you wear them outside as sunglasses too, or it's not really? Oh, you yeah. can. I, I, it's more it's for interesting. I, I don't really wear sunglasses. I, I wear right. glasses like this to block artificial light. But whenever I'm outside in the sun, I'm like you end up putting them day. on. Yeah. And the nighttime yeah. ones are red, right? Yes, they are. I red. have those two. Oh, I'm so okay, cool. so, I'm so, so biohacking. So we're going to do that. What, yeah. What's next in the biohacking? Um, <laughs> I would say, you know, you talked about morning routines and morning rituals, and uh, I think that's a very powerful thing. One of my favorite books on that is The Miracle Morning, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you've heard of. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of people are busy, so I like how he kind of broke that down into you can do it in six minutes, you know? And, he uses the acronym SAVERS, so it's silence or meditation, mm -hmm. affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing or writing. You know, mm -hmm. you do each one of those things for a minute, you have a very powerful start to your day. You do it each for 10 minutes, it's even better, right? Is that and really how you start your day? This seems like I'm it's not very, ideal. Like this, <laughs> oh, in my yes. dream no. world, I would scribe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, for a long time, I did, and it, like I can tell you, the times that I've been most consistent with this is when I'm doing really well. And lately I haven't been at all, but I'm not beating myself up over it. And, nice. uh, you know, so I, I try to hit a couple of those things. You know, Tim Ferriss recently released a little um, document that was like his morning ritual. And he knows that a lot of times he doesn't do all of them, but he's like, I know if I hit two or three out of five, he's like, he's happy, you know, and he's on his way. I'm okay. gonna shoot for one. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I'm gonna so shoot for one. So we've got the morning routine, we've got the glasses. Mm -hmm. What's next in the mm -hmm. biohacking? Um, I would say there's a lot of uh, mobility stuff that people don't know about. So, you know, yoga is, is big and strength training is big and there's all this stuff in the fitness world that's almost confusing now. Um, there's something called functional range conditioning that I really uh, enjoy. You know, I follow these people on Instagram and I try this stuff out. Sometimes we go to their seminars. There's a guy called Hunter Fitness, um, mm -hmm. Coach Zach Deck. Uh, I can link to a few of these coaches, but this is a, an approach to mobility that um, will strengthen and lengthen muscles at the same time. So you're kind of, you're learning how to consciously contract muscles while consciously releasing muscles at the same time w without using any external force. So you're using your body and your mind to do it versus like, you know, pushing against a wall or stretching mm -hmm. or using gravity or, you know, so every time you do it, you're um, becoming stronger. You know, they, they use joint circles. So like you do very slow articulated joint circles. So a good example is if you do it with your ankle, get your ankles extremely strong and flexible. If you roll your ankle, you step in a pothole or you're hiking or whatever, 
your ankle is able to get into that range and get out of that range and you won't tear anything. Unless yeah. you have high heels on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah try know. with heels. I, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I was thinking, if I hold my ankle like that, all it does is crack. This yeah. 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 might not be good for I go me. down the yeah. stairs in the morning and they crack. <laughs> um, that's, right. that's normal. But yeah, we okay, want, you want to improve your, your conscious range of motion. And I think that's, a, that's an amazing thing that people are starting to figure out. And when I go to yoga classes, I'm doing that stuff during the class, you know, versus mm -hmm. just doing what they're telling me, you know, and I like. Okay, how did, how did, so, what else? Yeah, okay, what else? Sorry, no, no, go, go, go. no, no I'm, just, I'm so curious. Like, how did biohacking even, like, start? Um, I, th I, think it, I think it came from some nerdy people that um, were mainly computer people and wanted to figure out why they were so fat and out of shape and uh, So unhappy. they figured it out. So it wasn't like athletes That's, that... I mean, a lot of this stuff I say is... It, we're, science is slowly catching up to what monks and martial artists have been saying for thousands exactly. of years. Exactly. Okay. Thank you. Right. So this, that's why I say it's a fancy term. You know, I have it on my profile because, you know, people are into it. And it's it's a good, I guess it's a good term for nowadays. But it's nothing new. It's, yeah. You know, They're just yoga trying to put some science. I'd never heard of it before. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I thought yeah, you were on the cool. computer, like, hacking people's <laughs> bio that's, bio yeah. that's biological. That's where it came from. Is, and one of the hey! biggest. It might have been <laughs> the guy might have been the guy who coined the term Dave Asprey, CEO of Bulletproof. Yes. He was uh, one of the people that kind of started the Internet, mm -hmm. I think. And he was, like, a big-time hacker. But he was... 300 some pounds right just very unhappy very unhealthy and he wanted to figure out oh you know could i treat my body more like a computer and hack the system so what do you think about his wow. his high fat diet um i've done every type of diet and i i think um there's a time to to maybe try each type of thing mm -hmm. um i felt really good personally on a ketogenic diet but i was living in fargo north dakota at the right. time or mm -hmm. like a period of time like mm -hmm. i feel like it's like there's mm -hmm. time like for me i had low blood sugar and it was good for me to get on a keto mm -hmm. diet for a little bit just to have my yep. body get used to tapping into the mm -hmm. fat to be able to sustain my blood sugars yes but i don't feel like it's sustainable no. but it like kind of trains your body to be able to tap into something yep. different and then do something that's what i felt yeah when i when i did that now I don't really eat that way, but my body can still do totally. it. And I, mm -hmm. you know, people use like a hybrid car as an example. I can use carbohydrates and fat as fuel, and I can oscillate between them. And I, I like to do a lot of intermittent fasting and even extended day fasting. And that's the same thing that's happening. You're, you'll burn through all the stores, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then your body will start to tap into your fat stores or ketones, and then you feel pretty amazing. You have right. great mental clarity and, you know, weird things will happen. You'll have improved vision and uh, sense of smell. Right. All sorts of stuff. So I like this. So you're like an expert biohacker. You're taking all the stuff that you've learned out there of the people that are kind of experts in their specific biohacking, and mm -hmm. then you're putting it all together. Yeah. I like that. That's, yeah. that's a nice little niche. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Wow. So what else? What are you most excited about? What am I most excited about? I think this year has, or the previous year, has been a, a time of a lot of uh, change and growth for me. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I mentioned I wasn't beating myself up for not hitting that morning ritual all the time. And uh, that's been a big step for me is like I've been so serious about like health and I'm so passionate about it that I've seen people that are like that get to an unhealthy level mm -hmm. and, and uh, even get s certain types of diseases and stuff. And they're like so mm -hmm. healthy. Um, so now I'm able to, to relax a little bit more. And, uh, you know, like there's a long time where I didn't. You know, I know alcohol is not good for us, but for whatever reason, I love it. Like, <laughs> for whatever reason, I have like, no idea why. <laughs> the, I have no the, idea what you're like, talking about. It's one of the best sources of like, <laughs> like comedic relief in life. Like, in in my life, like all the funniest stories involve alcohol or some other type of drugs, and you know, and it's just how it is. So, <laughs> you should admit it. I mean, Biohacking, yeah. hanging out, yeah. I like that. Then that's like my friend from London. He put it brilliant. He's like. He was talking about me to some people and he was like, this guy is so incredibly healthy and disciplined and, and intelligent in these in these fields. And he just completely abuses it and goes to Cabo and just like he <laughs> does Molly on the yeah. weekends. I yeah. think I think you should and do this. This is a biohacking of like how to like just totally yeah. like a total extreme of biohacking. Yeah. But like it seems how like to you balance. balance. I mean, yeah, you're balancing I, I fun I, with I I you know yeah. ninety ten. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. Right. percent of the time you scribe and you're really yeah. disciplined. And the other ten go wild. Yeah, I, go I drinking. I heard <laughs> these stories a lot in AA. That's what I was thinking. Just joking. Yeah, so awesome. Tell people where they can find you follow you um yeah my instagram is the main thing i'm posting on it's just at luke peckman um i'm on facebook uh 
all those things. You right. know, just search my name. I made it simple. I didn't, I don't really have nice. a, a different name. DM him, it'll scribe you back. Yeah, yeah I'll, mm -hmm. I'll scribe awesome. you. <laughs> yeah, I'd love Stay to be back. And... We'll be right back. <laughs>